Hello everyone, it's Paleo Ant, and welcome to my first commentary video on this channel. In this video, I'm going to state my predictions for the future of Jurassic World Evolution 2, and basically talk about what we could see in the remainder of this year. So as we've recently found out, the feathered creature pack for Jurassic World Evolution 2 is coming on March 30th which is right on schedule for the 3 month gap between each DLC that the game has consistently done. So according to this pattern, in a very certain anniversary, we can predict that the next DLC after this one will come out on June 2023. And as we know, June 2023 will be the official 30th anniversary since Jurassic Park first came into theaters in 1993. So it's obvious that the June DLC will be based off of the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. But besides that, we have no idea what else is in store for the game. If we go back to Jurassic World Evolution 1 to give us an example, that game ended with 8 DLCs, and the June DLC will be the 8th DLC for Jurassic World Evolution 2. So it's fairly likely that the last DLC will be in June, which will be the 30th anniversary DLC. If we were to get another DLC after June, we can assume that it will come out in September 2023 as that will be the 3 month gap between June and, well, September. <laughs> we can also assume that the September DLC will be a creature pack as the June DLC will be an expansion for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. And there's never been two expansions come out back to back. But on the off chance that we do get two expansions back to back, the September release could be the highly speculated Camp Cretaceous Manticorp expansion. That would include all the missing species that we don't have in the game that are from Camp Cretaceous. Even if it's not an expansion, it could still be a creature pack that will give us the missing species from Camp Cretaceous into Jurassic World Evolution 2. But that is extremely unlikely. As the only reason why Jurassic World Evolution 2 would even get any further DLC. As no one really knows when the next Jurassic movie is going to come out, and these movies usually piggyback off of the movies as Jurassic World Evolution 1 piggybacked off Fallen Kingdom, and Jurassic World Evolution 2 came off of Dominion. But with Dominion being the conclusion of the current Jurassic era, we know it's going to be a while for the next Jurassic movies to come out. I find it unlikely that they're going to release another game without a movie. While they could make a Jurassic World Evolution 3, I think that would be much later down the line when they start making the new Jurassic movies, but in the meantime, they could still support Jurassic World Evolution 2 with future DLCs, despite of what Jurassic World Evolution 1's lifespan told us. We do know that Jurassic World Evolution 2 is still missing some content as their previously established Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Manticorp expansion. However, there's a chance for that content to be in the Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary DLC that will come out in June, or it will come in Jurassic World Evolution 3 if that will come out future down the line. We are also missing some era creature packs. As we know, we got an early Cretaceous pack and a late Cretaceous pack for Jurassic World Evolution 2. And honestly, I thought this new upcoming DLC was going to be a mid Cretaceous pack as it would fill in the gap between early and late. but. I guess it turned out to be a feather pack. So it is possible for us to get a mid Cretaceous pack as well as a Jurassic and Triassic pack later down the line. There is also an opportunity to give us packs that aren't dinosaurs such as the Mesozoic pack or a Permian era pack. There is so many opportunities that Frontier can do with Jurassic World Evolution too. It's just a question of are they going to do it or will they stop support. There is no reason not to as the game financially is very successful. And it'll be very likely to stay that way if they continue to support the game and make new DLCs. But overall, as of a roadmap, I think it's safe to say that it's confirmed for us to get at least two DLCs this year. One of them being the Feathered Creature Pack that we're getting in a few days as of recording this video, and the second one coming out in June for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. But anything after that is a complete mystery, and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Anyways guys, those are my thoughts and theories of a potential roadmap for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always guys, a like is always appreciated and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We're on our way to 30,000 subscribers and I want to make it there before the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. So come subscribe to make that happen. And thank you for watching. Bye.